Hola everybody, today I'm gonna talk about one of my least favorite films ever. So, yeah, Frozen 2 sucks. Yeah. And Elsa should have not been the fifth spirit thing because ice is frozen water. And also she was a jerk to Anna and then basically everyone got forgotten and then Kristoff was pointless and they probably could have killed him off and no one would care. Olaf died but everyone knew it was a fake out because who the heck the new characters weren't relevant for at least two minutes. And Elsa, Elsa, I hate Elsa, I hate Anna and the only good character is probably Sven. Yeah, I have a lot of problems with this film, but now we're gonna just address one of them. And it is my biggest problem. Elsa should have stayed queen. Literally, first in Frozen 2, there is no indication, except in that one throwaway line in Into the Unknown, like maybe there's somewhere else I'm meant to be or something like that. Or what was it? Oh, who knows deep down, I'm not where I'm meant to be. Yeah, and that one throwaway line, there's no indication that she doesn't like being queen. And you're like, oh, but Isabel, what about Frozen 1 when she's like trembling when getting the scepter thingy? And like, um, and, um, and, um, what else, what else, what else? Um, like how she ran away and abandoned her home kingdom. Um, that's such a sh stupid thing to do. Couldn't that be a sign? Well, yes, it could be. However, she was terrified of herself, thought her powers could kill everybody. Once she revealed her powers, she was scared she was going to hurt somebody, so she ran away. Also, she was scared when holding the scepter and orc thingy that they would turn into eyes, showing off her powers, that everyone would be scared of her. Then, yeah, so I think she had a bit of a justified reason for running away. Not saying it was right, but it was justified. Um, and, what else? Also, Anna had no indication that she wanted to be queen either. And you're like, but, but Isabel, she cared about her subjects and stuff. What? No, duh. What kind of ruler or like, like, are you telling me Prince Harry or like William even don't care about their subjects? Um, of course Anna would care about her own subjects. I'm just saying. And then, so, a while ago, I purchased a book called Frozen 2 Forest of Shadows, and guess what? It literally named off every reason why Anna should not have been queen. She wasn't paid, she... I lended the book to someone else, so I do not have the book to show right now. But from what I can remember, I um, explained that Elsa was patient and understanding. Anna was not patient and understanding. Elsa got to place early and on time and was always at her meetings accordingly. Anna was, ne was always late and could not show up on time. The whole book was basically Anna's fault because she didn't want to be separated from Elsa. Um, or something like that. And, yeah, I explained why Elsa was a good ruler, why Anna was a bad one, and you should go check it out if you think I'm joking. Like, literally. Also, there's no indication that there's been any problems. Except in that book. In the movie too, there's like no indication that Elsa is struggling with being queen, that she doesn't want to be queen, or that Anna would even make a good queen because Anna is hot tempered and not patient and always is late. Didn't even realize it was her own sister's coronation in the first movie. And she should have not been queen. Elsa should have stayed queen because Elsa was patient. She always showed up on time as the book said. And um, 
was understanding and, and was a good listener. None of which Anna are. Anna has her own good qualities, but none of those are them. Elsa should have been queen. She should not have abdicated. Also, the reason she does it is so stupid. How could she be the fifth spirit? She, ice and water are the same thing. Um, also, she was also in the Nadolger land for like, let's say a week even. I don't think most rulers spend time in another country for like a week and then decide to like, hey, bye, peace out. Chill, off for la visa, I'll see you later. No, I don't think that's how it works. Also, how could she, be, okay, even though I highly disagree with the storyline of her being the fifth spirit, then why? Why couldn't she have stayed queen? Why did she have to stay in the, in the, in the stupid north country? Couldn't she have stayed queen too? Anna. Also, it would have made more sense if Anna was the one who stayed in the North Country, mostly because her future husband doesn't really like royal life. And the deleted bloopers, he doesn't like royalty or anything to do with that. So maybe Isabel's gonna rewrite the story here a bit. Maybe, um, Let's say Elsa didn't push the canoe away and just instead like built an ice wall or something to keep Anna from following her. And she crossed the North Sea and blah, blah, blah. Then Anna runs after her to the shores and the Kelpie finds Anna or something like that. Or not the Kelpie, the knock or whatever it is. Finds Anna and takes her to the thing because they just saw how good of a person Elsa was, so he decided Anna was good too. And then, as Anna comes through Anta Holland, she finds Elsa frozen to death. And then with the power of love and plot and Disney, she revives her. And Elsa told her, why, you shouldn't have come after me. And she's like, because I love you. And then they realize love was the fifth spirit all along. And then Elsa had a duty to her kingdom, which she shouldn't have forsaken. And they hug it out or something, go break the dam. And then Arendelle's castle gets killed off because that's what should have happened when your actions have consequences. And then Anna and Kristoff decide to stay in the North Country to help them adjustify to new life and to get them up to speed about what's going on in the world now. And Elsa will return to Arendelle and build a castle out of ice maybe and and um they all live wonderfully, happily together. And the fight never happened because they made up with it and didn't just excuse it. And that's what should have happened. This is a very kind of long, kind of short video. And I hope you enjoyed. And tell me your opinion down below. Bye.